all these tanks, they're what we call 400 barrel fermentation tanks. And one barrel is equal to like half of a keg. So you can think of these as 800 kegs worth of beer in all these big tanks. Um, they're huge, it's awesome. It's a lot of beer in here. <laughs> all those big ones are like our main, our main beers back there. And then these are like seasonals and like smaller batches that we do. What I do on a daily basis is I'm looking at from when the beer starts all the way to the finish. I'm looking at it chemically. Um, you can call it analytical chemistry, basically. What I first started studying yeast was um, was looking at fermentation times because I started getting into it and started learning the process. And I realized that we had we weren't really tracking our times. Like some like a, our one of our main beers, like a Long Hammer, would ferment from anywhere between 160 hours to like 300. I'm like, okay, why, why is that such like a big range? And I was like, can we narrow this down somehow? So I started looking at like the yeast viability, the yeast generations, and just pretty much crunching data and learning when it was too old, the yeast was too old. And I developed some spreadsheets and now it's it put in a plan for pretty much all of, just not just Red Hook, but we're part of the Crapper Alliance. And it, we now have like, a set way of how we report um, how our yeast is doing. And I'm actually doing a special project with UNH with uh, Dr. Thomas Kelly. He's gonna be sequencing our genome and I'm gonna be measuring the metabolites and stuff like that. He was very interested in it because he does all the genome sequencing at UNH. And he's like, if we could pair that up with the metabolites that you measure on your GC and we look at the mutations, like we could really get something there and actually learn what's going on at the molecular level at the yeast. Your nature is awesome. And just through the biochemistry, I knew all about fermentation before I even got here. And that's how I'm starting to do that, the special projects with the yeast and stuff like that, is because I know all about fermentation. It's just very cool, like, because I, I use what I learned in my biochem classes and I could apply it here. And my work ethic has allowed me to climb the ladder, so to speak, because I started off in packaging and now I'm in beer chemistry. I'm in charge of all of our gluten testing because we make a gluten free beer. Um, the extra that I've taken on and also the taste panel administrator job.